Now, do you guys like Raspberry Pis? Do you like supercomputers? Would you want to see a supercomputer be made out of a Raspberry Pi? Stick around. We're going to do so in this very video. What's up guys, I'm Rissim from RossmerTech.com and in this video, we're gonna create a supercomputer out of four Raspberry Pi 4s. Now we're gonna have a Raspberry Pi 4 gig, one Raspberry Pi 2 gig, and two Raspberry Pi 1 gigs. So a total of four Raspberry Pi 4s. All right, so this is only part one of this video series. They're gonna be a total of four parts. In this video, we're gonna go over all the parts. We're gonna build the Raspberry Pi cluster, connect all the cables, and then in the other parts, we're gonna set up the cluster. So without further ado, let's get started with this build. All right, so these are all the parts that are gonna go in our Raspberry Pi 4 cluster supercomputer video series here. I got four Raspberry Pi 4s. We have one Raspberry Pi 4 gig, one Raspberry Pi 4 2 gig, and two Raspberry Pi 4 1 gig. So that's a total of four Raspberry Pi 4s, right? We got the power supply. Now I went to Tinkersphere, I got three of them from Tinkersphere. These are the Raspberry Pi 4 power supplies. And I was able to get my hands on one of the official Raspberry Pi power supplies that they sell. I got this from Micro Center. So this one is an official Raspberry Pi 4 power supply. And these I got from Tinkersphere. I'll leave a link to all this in the description. Now right here, this is the Raspberry Pi cluster case. We're able to build up four Raspberry Pis using this case here. It's gonna look cool. We're gonna build that in a second. I got four micro SD cards there. I opened one of the Raspberry Pi 4s. This here is the four gigabyte version. This is the networking switch we're gonna to use to connect the Raspberry Pi 4s. This is a Linksys eight port gigabit switch. This was like $35, I believe. I got this at Best Buy. I'm gonna leave a link to this in the description. This is what's gonna allow us to connect all the Raspberry Pi 4s. And finally, I got the cables here. These are the networking cables. These are Cat5e, three foot, uh, cables, they're different colors, so I thought the different colors would make this build look a lot better. So that's pretty much it for the parts. Now let's start the build. All right, first we're gonna put together the cluster case. So this is the cluster case right here. I got this one from Tinkersphere. And with this case, we're allowed to stack up four Raspberry Pis. It was $20, so not too expensive. I'll leave a link to this. If I can't find this, a similar case in the description. All right guys, we finally finished building the case. It took a while and it looks pretty cool. I gotta admit, it does look cool. We got our four Raspberry Pi 4s here. We have a Raspberry Pi 4. We have a four gigabyte, we have a two gigabyte and two one gigabyte. So that makes a total of four Raspberry Pi 4s that we're gonna cluster. So th these are the Raspberry Pi 4s. All we have to do now is set up the switch and connect all the cables. All right guys, so we finished building the cluster. As you can see here, that's a eight port switch. We have four ethernet cables connected to our Raspberry Pi 4s. We have a total of four Raspberry Pi 4s. One's a four gig, one is a two gig, and we have two one gigs. So a total of four Raspberry Pi 4s. 
and we have the power connected and all you have to do is power it up basically. So this is just part one. In the next part, we're actually gonna set up the software. We're gonna set up the cluster. We're gonna download Raspberry and all that stuff. This is gonna be a total of four parts, by the way. So uh, the next part, we're gonna set up the cluster. That's pretty much it for this part. All right guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. So this was video one. Now stay tuned for video part two of this build where we set up the cluster. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rustin from RossmerTech.com and thank you guys for watching.